No criminal charges will be filed against the Fort Myers police officers who shot at, who shot at the man accused of killing a fellow officer last summer. The state attorney releasing a letter and sending that letter to Chief Derek Diggs of the police department saying the officers involved in the incident, quote, were legally justifiable using deadly force in the defense of themselves and others. And tonight, Fox 4's Alyssa Dickert takes you back to that fateful night. It all started at 7.15 on July 21st after a call about a disturbance at a Marathon gas station located on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard involving four individuals. According to the report, after shooting Adam Jobbers Miller, Wisner Desmarais pointed the firearm at Lieutenant Peter Tarman and fired at him. Tarman fired four times and missed. Desmarais continued running toward MLK Boulevard with Officer Jobbers Miller's firearm. Tarman radioed, shots fired, officer down, he has a gun, he shot an officer. But what you want to do is you want to focus on the armed suspect, but it's very difficult to do when you have uh, your partner or a friend laying there, a comrade in arms literally laying there and dying or dead. And so that, it, it draws from your ability to focus. Officer Zarillo fired nine rounds at Desmarais before he entered the gas station. His pistol jammed and transitioned to his AR-15 rifle. He had the ability and the time to go to his trunk because had that suspect decided to charge him, it would have been right back. You'd have a second homicide. Officer Zarillo said Desmarais came out of the store still holding the gun. Zarillo then fired four times at Desmarais. Desmarais then fell to the ground due to a gunshot wound to his right thigh and dropped the gun. The officer shot at Desmarais a total of 17 times before making contact. Think about just trying to shoot that leg or that arm and those body parts are moving. That becomes that much more difficult. So that torso becomes the, the, the easiest part of the body to be able to hit. The report says Desmarais DNA was found on Jobbers Miller's gun, which was located next to him when he was taken into custody. The state attorney's office only looked at the case from the Florida statute. I mean, this is like a textbook case where everything is perfect. Which allows for the justifiable use of deadly force. Wisner Desmarais has multiple charges against him, including first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer, attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer, and resisting an officer with violence. He is currently in custody awaiting trial.